All right, so I want to get your name right. It's Adeabo Hinde Sunday. Is that how you say it? Adebayo Kende Sunday. Okay, I'm going to leave that to you, and I'm just going to call you Mr. Sunday. How does that sound? All right, it's okay. It's okay. All right, perfect. Well, Mr. Sunday, you were on the top FPV videos of the week last week. You had a great FPV drone. Tell us how you got into drones. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, drone have actually been part of me right from childhood. Love of making things. Not really known, like, not really know it's called drone then so um i've been making things right from carton aluminium wood cardboard uh try to make a car pulling it with rope uh, um make a helicopter also pulling it with rope and others even a boat then from there try to step up adding a DC motor from DVD, uh, the one that you just remove from scrap or from a cassette or a tape. Yeah, just get a brush DVD from there and just install it and, and so try to power were, it with battery. You were running a motor from a yeah. DVD, from a DVD motor that you use that? Yeah, then we remove. <laughs> DVD motor, like try to get scrap from um, engineers or from being like web scrap apart to you, like just just go there and just remove the brush uh, brush motor, remove the wire system, also remove some LED just to uh, build whatever I would like. Uh, um, so I do that and even try to remove LED from lamp to make my things uh, flashy and just to beautify it and beautify it and also give it a good finishing. So as time goes on, I love flying things. I have been seeing plane flying on sky, seeing helicopter, like just pressing and I've never been into any of it, nor even visit an airport. I've never been in an airport. You've so, never been um, to the airport. Wow. No, no. But you make things fly. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I, uh, I, as I've said earlier, I've been doing this right from childhood. So, during my secondary school days, I have like access to phone and also have access to internet. Then I. I start browsing, like browsing things, trying to do drones, trying to do plane, trying to do copter, trying to do all of that. So I decided to take it step by step. Uh, first, I think I've made helicopter like three times with um, uh, plastics and wood, watching DIY, watching DIY um, videos online. <clears throat> so, uh, I've done that and give it a try with brush motor. And I actually make one then that was actually amazing. I make one, I think the weight is more or less. Uh, so I, I power it with a charger of five volt and the helicopter tried to lift, but could not hold, like try to jack up and come down. So I would just like tie a rope. I will tie a rope to the tail and, and hang it up, then power it to, so the helicopter will just be uh, I could try to you understand with so so uh from there you know, I'll decide to search for, for the electronics like the component that will actually make an RC knowing uh Johnny's company that 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 will make it work and how it actually works no no the working principle <clears throat> so right from there i started saving 
um, on the day of getting a brush motor, on the day of getting a propeller. So then, okay, I still remember perfectly the first thing I ever get is a brush, a brushless motor that's 1000 kV motor, 2212 motor, and also a, a 10 inch propeller um, ED1045 orange prop. And um, from there, I say for months again to get servos, servos and um, ESC all together. Then uh, as time goes on, just around in between a year, in between a year, I was able to, to get my um, electronics complete. Wow, so, so it took you a I, year to get all that stuff? Yeah, for about a year. So that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So after getting the electronics and the, the, the other challenges, is, the other challenge is to get uh, the, the the lipo battery. So it takes me about a month, a month or two to get the lipo battery also. That's um, a three cell. 2200 milliamp so i actually got that and um with a um b3 b3 lipo charger b3 lipo charger so i got that that that's the last thing i got then i was able to make my first plane then uh, make a Cessna plane high wings so i make it two channel with ruda and elevator so I tried to made in it on made in it. It actually crashed, but I was very happy that I, I I'm actually able everyone to crashes. Make everyone crashes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I was I was very happy seeing the plane that that, that this plane can actually fly. There is something. There, there is a motor. There is a propeller that can actually pull this way that it is. So I was very very happy. It's awesome. So uh uh. uh the, the issue I was having then was actually CG issue. So so the the, the plane was actually tail heavy, very seriously tail heavy. So as I launch it, it just uh, pitch up and if I say wow, everything come to land, then it crashed. <laughs> and uh, after that, <laughs> yeah, after that I save up for a 2,200 kV, also 2212 with a um, seven inch propeller. Yeah, and built my second plane. That's a Dihydra also Cessna. Well, this time Dihydra also three channel with um, Ruda and Elevator. And I was able to fly for about 30 seconds. And, <laughs> and I had my propeller broken. I had my propeller broken and also the landing gear. I have the video on my channel also. That's my first video should be the, the, the Cessna that I flew for about 10 seconds and just just crashed. Also, the crash video is there. Even I still have the pictures. So from there, uh, let me just say a year after I was able to go into multi-rotor. That's, uh, I was now able to fly fixed wings perfectly, like fixed wings perfectly, and now decide to move into multi-rotor. Get things, um, myself into quad and all that. I built the 221, 2212 motor, 1000 kV, 10 inch propellers, uh, 30 amp ESC, uh, which also the FC, it has flight controller of um, KK2. Uh, awesome. Uh, I don't really believe that it can fly, but I, I finally fly it. And, and uh, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And it was awesome. I was like, wow. So I make use of um, e flight battery, uh, 1200 milliamp 3X. So I was able to fly it for about a minute. Yeah, a minute. Oh, yes, I, decide, uh, I, I, I try to fly it for about, 
uh, I, I tried to fly for about two minutes, but my drone ended up falling from, from sky. Uh oh. So, <laughs> it's actually fall from sky then some some years ago. Yeah, I was on get another ESC, you know, get it repaired, and also from now convert the exacopter to a quadcopter. Mm. Damage, so how did you get the okay, camera on the, the quadcopter? The it looks like you had it taped on there. Oh, you still there? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 we're, we're almost there. We're getting him back. Yeah. All right. Yeah, tell us about how you stuck the camera on the drone there, Mr. Sunday. Right. Uh, along the line, I have a friend, a friend just contacted me from US there, uh, named Max. Yeah, Max. He decided to actually send me some parts just to encourage me, and it has really helped me a lot to advanced in building drone so he sent me a yi action cam just like a gopro just like a go cam so so um also with autopilot that's psoc 2.8 flight controller with gps telemetry um also with some motors and propeller in dsc so when he sent it down, I was able to build some drones and also with uh, having the first experience of recording uh, a, a video from Sky. I think the first one that I do that I actually, actually make him to send me that camera was, was I added a phone. I want to see what it looks like recording from Sky. So. I end up adding a phone to my fixed wings. I tape my phone with mm. fixed wings, then launch it. I have the video also on my phone. I can forward it later. So I added a phone, then click on video record, then launch it. Then I use it. I, I take off for about 100 meters or 50 meters altitude. Then I have a record. Like it was actually nice, but there's nothing like having an FPV. So right. with that, he decided to send me the the action cam. Then that's what I've been using now. And also the drone that I actually built with the flight controller with the P-Shock. That's my first experience. Then I have issue with disconnection, um, signal lost from my transmitter to the drone. Then the drone end up flying away. So it flew away. It flew away. <laughs> they, they, we, we've all had flyaways. We've all had drones do weird, wacky stuff. Uh, it, it sounds like it's it's no different. So um, with your drones, what 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 are you planning on using them for? Are you planning on helping the community? Are you planning on helping teaching other people how to build them and stuff? What what are you planning on doing out there in Nigeria? Yeah. Um... I'm planning of having a community, FPV community, and I've actually been training some kids over here. I've been training some kids over here. I think one just, uh, one left some minutes ago, an hour ago. So um, 
They have actually been playing simulator. They have been playing simulator, but I'm scared of losing my parts, uh, <laughs> my electronics by giving them real drones that I've made to actually train on. So I have actually have some couple of friends who want to get into drone, but can't afford it as parts are really expensive and getting them in Nigeria is not really easy. So um, I have actually been recording with my drone. So I want to get into cinematography with drone recording from Sky and actually get some income from that. And also surveillance, then going on mission and also delivery. So I, I've been actually aiming that getting into agricultural work with agricultural drone for spraying insecticide and also wetting the farm and also picking up payloads from farm, dropping it outside. That's actually part of the delivery and also dropping message from my location. Let me just say 30, uh, 30 kilometers from my own point. That's awesome. Going long range has actually been my dreams going long range and actually get, getting high quality video feedback from my drone. That has a lot of things and a huge dream still I'm back on. So yeah, so let, 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 let's help you out. We're, we're talking to you, the FPV community. We're talking to you, the drone community. Let's help out Mr. Sunday here. He's trying to get kids into drones. He's trying to do long range drones. He's trying to get deliveries down there in Nigeria. Let's all help him out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some links in the comments of this video. And that way we can try to get some parts, some frames, uh, maybe some equipment. Uh, I believe uh, Mr. Sunday is looking for an iPhone 11. That way we can have a better interview quality than kind of what we got going on right now. Let's help him out, FPV community, because this is how it's done. This guy has limited resources, but he's trying to do great things, and he's already done great things with the limited resources he has. Um, well, Mr. Sunday, I really appreciate you doing the interview today with us. I know it's late out there in Nigeria. You're doing great things for drones and FPV out there in Africa. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to say to the fans out there? Oh, yeah. Um, let me say once again, my name is Adibayo Kende Sunday from Kabakogi State, Nigeria, a graduate student of um, Kogi State College of Education, Technical Kaba, where I study meta work and um, also one of the workforce of Sophia Foundation, yeah, as a ministry. So I want to say thank you, FPV family. Thank you, FPV fam. Thanks for your advice. Thanks for your encouragement. Thanks for your support. And thanks for sharing my video. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks for liking my picture. Thanks for encouraging me. I'm really grateful. And um, I'll be very happy and very grateful. The kids are looking forward to a day where they will actually fly real FPV, where they will actually fly real drone, no simulator. And I'll plead if the family want to help us or help me, uh, we actually love to get parts, I mean electronics, then we will. We, we, I think getting drawn into Nigeria is forbidden, like prohibited, prohibited. So if we can get the electronics like motors, ESC, uh, flight controllers, propellers, and every other necessary things, we can actually work on building the frame ourselves with the available materials that we have, and actually um, build the fixed frame by ourselves with the available materials that we have. So I've been training some the kids on how to get about that. And they are actually doing awesome. I've been showing them on my video. They have been appearing on my videos, live videos, and also recorded videos. So thank you, FPV. 
Thank you, family out there. Thank you, RC fan, DIY fan. I'm really grateful. All right. Well, yeah. Well, Bye. we thank you, Mr. Sunday, for for just doing FPV. It's people like you that are that inspire us all to go out there and do more and be more because you're you're doing amazing things with minimum around amount of resources. So again, thanks again for doing the interview. Everyone, be sure to check out his YouTube channel, AK Flight, on YouTube. And everyone, be sure to fly safe out there. Everyone, be sure to fly safe out there. Thank you.